Hey, my name is Stephen Hayes. This is my wife, Lauren, and we are S and L. And you're watching Thriving Thursday. Cue the music, baby. Yeah. Hey, good evening. I hope you're ready, cause today, oh, today is Thriving Thursday. I hope y'all ready. Hey, cue, cue the music, dude. Don't don't even wait. It's cue it. Hey, thank you for tuning in to another Thriving <laughs> Thursday. If you can't tell, I'm super pumped up. I'm lit right now. Hey, look, I am on fire. If you can't tell, my shirt is just red. I'm burning. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're outside. We've got this beautiful weather down here in Texas, and I just want to make sure we get a little outside view. So, let me slow it down a little bit, let y'all know what we're going to be talking about today. Today, we're going to be talking about something very essential, and that is a budget. 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 Okay? We know that a lot of crazy things have been happening over the last two months that so we've been locked up in the house or quarantine or shelter in place, whatever your situation may have been. Um, but, you know, we have several things going on here in the U.S. and presidents trying to get everybody back to work. Businesses are trying to open so they can stay in business. And we know that that means for a lot of you out there, a lot of our viewers, that some of you may actually have to leave working from home and have to go into the office or go back into your place of business and uh, conduct business uh, and our living. So with that being said, one of the things we want to remind you of is a budget, budget, budget. budget. How important a budget is. Right now, uh, some of you may be getting your tax returns or may have already gotten your tax returns. Um, those that might be unemployed, you might have actually had the file for unemployment. So you have a source of income. If you don't have any income, it's making the best use of what you do have. So. Okay. Oh yeah. And I know typically budgets are kind of boring. It's not like the most exciting thing, but I thought it was kind of important for us to talk about just because um, we're hoping that if you, with the money that you get in from either this, whatever it, what it's called, the relief, or you know your tax return that you can make yourself an emergency fund and how important that is for because well we don't know what will ha you know we don't really know what would happen in the future or what can happen kind of like a rainy day fund just something to have in case something goes wrong absolutely rainy days happen they do <laughs> it's not what it's not if they happen it's when they happen when they yeah. happen anyway yeah, so the idea is to be prepared for the rain, right? So the first thing we're going to mention in your budget is to have an emergency fund. Oh, yes. This isn't something new. This isn't something that we came up with on our own. We actually got the terminology from Dave Ramsey's program called Financial Peace University. However, most uh, financial advisors will give you similar information. They might use a different term, a like a rainy or... day budget or a savings, uh, savings account. Um, they may use different terms. It's just where we got some of our information from was Financial Peace University by Dave Ramsey. So uh, a, an emergency fund, um, if you make more than $20,000 a year, the idea is to have $1,000, that's one and three zeros, $1,000 in your emergency fund. And if you make less than $20,000 a year, then the idea is to try to have at least $500 in your emergency fund. And, and that's, try, go ahead. Okay. And try to get it like kind of as fast as, as you can, as possible, just so you have that in place. Um, and that might take longer and look different for different people. Yeah. So that's why, you know, if you're getting a big chunk of money, that would be a good time to do that. Um, yeah, that's what I was yeah. Gonna I was going to say, there's several, I just say pretty much almost annually, um, our emergency fund gets uh, back up to $1,000 when we get our tax return. And that's if something, um, in most cases, something has occurred throughout the year. There has been a rainy day, or pretty much there's been rainy until, days, rainy seasons, <laughs> rainy years. years. But that's just until we get all our debts paid off. You have kind of, um, kind of to light a fire under your butt, I guess, for yeah. lack of a better term. You gotta find um, that motivation to figure to, out what's gonna help you budget. To, um, you know, to get going on your debt snowball and getting all your debts paid off. And then 
the, the third baby step that Dave Ramsey would say is the three to six months of expenses um, for your emergency fund, fully funded emergency fund. So. Can I break it down for him a little bit? That's what we're working on. Okay, it, we, we're keeping it short this time. Yeah, okay. can I break it down? Because you just sure. you zip right through it as if they know what you're talking about. <laughs> sure. So, all right, so I'm going to break it down for you a little bit. Here we go. It's the debt snowball. If you don't know what a debt snowball is, that's where you take a sheet of paper, you take all of your debts, you list them from the smallest debt that you owe all the way down to the largest debt that you owe and how much you pay per month for each of those debts or how much your minimum payment is per debt. Then from there, you start listing off smallest payment all the way down. And once you've paid off the first debt, whatever that first payment on that first debt was, you roll that payment over to the second debt. So if you're a first debt, you pay $50 a month. When you pay off that debt, that $50 that you were paying gets rolled to the next debt. And so the next debt that you were paying $100 a month is now right. $150. So then it kind of... It snowballs. Yeah. All right, so just kind of break it down a little bit. I know she went really no. fast. Some of y'all were like, oh no, I didn't take notes. So no. that's your debt snowball. You're yes. going to continue to do that until you have all your debts paid off. That's when you're debt free. That's step two. Baby step two is to become debt free, paying off all your debts mm -hmm. using your debt snowball. Baby step three, three to six months of expenses. That is your fully funded emergency fund. That way when situations like this happen and stuff shuts down and you're without work for a while, you know, you're not getting paid for a while, whatever the case may be, you have at least three to six months of expenses saved up so that way you can still pay for food, fuel, you know, get, get, take care of your family um, or yourself if it's just you, but being able to take care of yourself and your family um, in those situations. One thing I wanted to say was, um, the reason why it's only a thousand dollars because like we are a family of six it doesn't seem like a lot of money yeah. is so that way you that's what i was talking about to kind of light a fire <laughs> under you so that way you're intense about and get serious about it because it's if you put too much cushion then you might be like oh it's fine these debts are fine so it's kind of to motivate you to you have to keep going and also along the way you would be having some kind of funds for like saving up for like car repairs because you know that's going to come so that's separate from the emergency fund and you only want to use emergency funds I'm sorry for emergencies yes and um what's an example of an emergency that we've had to use our emergency fund for well before we had the sinking fund for car payment for car repairs um an engine going yep. out on a car hopefully you already are saving up for other things but you know when you start off having an emergency fund you don't have an emergency fund maybe you have to this is the time to start know, if something. you haven't figured anything else about what's going on in the world right now if you don't have an emergency fund or something that you have that you use similar to a emergency fund you need to start and just so you know out there a credit card and a loan are not counted as an emergency fund an emergency fund should be either in your savings account now it should be in a money market something like that but we do not count any t anytime you have to borrow money it's not an emergency fund that's anyway. just that that's it's a borrow money it's another debt I'm trying to keep it short but the main thing is to make sure that you're taking care of your four, four walls I think it is yes your four and walls that is for um, for budgeting purposes your rent or mortgage mm -hmm. food Ele gas, your water if you have water, to pay water electricity, electricity or and or and like gas so. gas to get to and from work so you can pay for the things Yes. So, anyway. And as always, tides comes off the top, your emergency fund, and then your four walls. You take care of those things first. Yeah. And if you have money left over after that, then you start budgeting for your debts. Some people don't do it that way, but we kind of think that you do it that way. But anyway. Yeah. Our then, belief is that, yeah, we still we take our tides off first because God has blessed us to be able to have the income. So we're always given that, that first 10% back to God or to help the uh, house of God do his work. So whichever church, or something. yeah, we help, yeah, we donate um, to help ministries. But anyway, that we're here because we love you. We want to make sure that everybody out there is able to thrive, whether it be Thursday or any other day of the week. And hope you're staying safe and doing well and listening to guidelines. And washing your hands. <laughs> Wash your hands. Lots of hand washing and sanitizing, you know, taking showers, stuff like that. Do it regularly because you know if you go if you have to go back to work you're going out there yep. you know do your best to to stay safe have a mask whatever they recommend masking gloves and lots of washing the hands 
All right, hey, that's all we got for you this week. We want to thank you for tuning in to another Thriving Thursday. We're going to let the music take us out on this one. Keep thriving, keep thriving. All right. <laughs> There's a couple things I want to bring up to you. Remember to hit the like and the share. That's right, we're back to that one. Hit the like and the share right in front of me. No, don't click on the actual cloud in front of me. Okay. I kid, I kid. You're actually going to hit the like or the share down below. Um, if you like this video, walk with them daily. Walk with them daily, walk with them daily, got cut cause you need them daily.